ओके वेलकम गैस वेलकम टू वेबसाइट क्रिएशन 90 मिनट क्रैश कोर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एनरोलिंग इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स एंड आई गारंटी यू इफ यू विल स्पेंड अ नेक्स्ट 90 मिनट्स विद मी आई एम गारंटी यू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट ए हाई कन्वर्टिंग वेबसाइट एज वेल एज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वेयर एग्जैक्टली वेबसाइट फिट इन टू द होल डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इको सिस्टम ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट वेयर इट इज एग्जैक्टली गैट फिट इन टू इट ओके और राइट सो वेबसाइट इज वेरी वेरी वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड क्रिटिकल पार्ट इन होल डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इको सिस्टम इट इज बेसिकली इन द सेंटर इट इज इन द सेंटर एवरी थिंग इन द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इको सिस्टम विल बी अराउंड योर वेबसाइट और योर ब्लॉग और लैंडिंग पेजेस और राइट लैंडिंग पेजेस इज ऑल्सो बेसिकली पार्ट ऑफ ए होल बिग वेबसाइट all right so uh, it it is in the center so what we do is we drive traffic from different sources of traffic like google youtube facebook uh, we can drive free traffic through uh, by creating lot of content and we drive people on our website all right similarly we can use multiple type of ads also like facebook ads google ads youtube ads and we drive traffic uh, we drive people to our website all right once people are coming into our website then we generate leads we generate leads we generate inquiries so that we can serve the people who are our website visitors and we can convert them into our paying customers as well as uh, we are building our email list simultaneously so that we can communicate to the our uh, website visitors in the short term and in the long term all right once uh, uh, we capture the inquiries and the leads on our website then we can further monetize it we can either offer them our offline products we can offer them our e-commerce product we can offer them our digital products uh, like software courses etc uh, as well as we can uh, uh, we can present them our uh, uh, our services as a freelancer or as a digital marketing agency okay apart from that we can also promote our affiliate products also to our website visitors and uh, convert them into our paying customers and apart from that you can start a job also if you learn these kind of skills because uh, once you are into this uh, digital ecosystem once you learn these things uh, website creations then you can build your personal branded website also and you can showcase your talent and your skills to the employees so the uh, and tell them that yes if i can do it for myself i can i can do uh, all these th- uh, all these things for yourself also okay so i hope you might have understand it what is the use of website in the whole digital marketing ecosystem in the next upcoming videos i am going to tell you more about this uh, why basically we use website and what are the benefit of having a website okay so you might have a clear picture where exactly it gets fit into the whole digital marketing ecosystem all right so thank you so much for watching this video last minute uh, last bit in the next video bye bye take care hi guys welcome to this brand new video in this particular video i am going to tell you what is going to be the importance of website in today's day and age so let's start so in this particular course i am going to tell you what is going to be the importance of what is the super importance of having a website what are the 10 simple and easy steps to create a high converting website third how to monetize your website and fourth your next action steps so in this video i am going to tell you about what uh, what is the importance of a, uh, a website in today's day and age so i am going to tell you about 15 reasons 15 important reasons why in today's day and age it is super important to have a high converting website so number one reason is it is going to be your online shop the way you do offline business offline business cannot run uh, 24 hours 365 days there could be a corona effect there could be a uh, holidays but in website if you have a high converting website that kind of website can fetch you customers and sales and revenues uh, 24 into 7 into 365 days Over a period of time. Okay. Second important reason to have a, a website is it's going to give you a long term business identity. So just like in offline business, you have a shop and it is going to create your offline identity. Similarly, if you have a website, it is going to give you a online a uh, brand identity in long term. So what is whatever is your domain name, it is going to give you a long term business identity online. Third important reason is it is going to act like a digital assets. Just like you might have. offline assets like uh, physical assets like properties uh, shops in this case this particular uh, website is going to be act like a digital assets that is going to give you a uh, good return on invest in in short term and long term fourth important reason is uh, uh, once you have website it's going to create a professional impact in your prospects and customers mind okay uh, for your business 
so people are more uh, than willing to uh, uh, transact with you and trust on you fifth important reason is right uh, these days people are online after corona uh, most of the people are online they are searching online uh, on google most of their time are spending on online and 93% business purchase decision start with a uh, online search so if you have good online uh, reputation and online uh, presence then there is very higher chances that your prospect can find you online next reason is sixth reason is ease of access so anybody can buy your product or service with a website or contact you okay once you have online presence so your prospect and your customers have very ease of access they can find you from uh, anywhere in the world so they are easy they can easily contact you seventh re uh, reason is low cost marketing vehicle so it is going to be a very very low cost marketing vehicle just imagine if you are going to uh, publish a small news ad in a newspaper okay so that is going to cost you around 5000 to 10000 or 100 dollar to 500 dollar okay but if you have a um, online website so it is going to serve at a very low cost and that can uh, give you good amount of credibility and trust over a longer period of time okay eighth reason is positive return on investment in short term and in long term it is going to give you a very very long term uh, business even if you get one customer out of your online presence your all the investment in building a website is going to recover okay so it's going to become a very very uh, high con uh, high return on investment whatever investment you're going to make uh, in creating a website okay and it is very very affordable these days our uh, next thing is long shelf longer shelf life so once you are going to give an ad in a newspaper next day it's going to be irrelevant because next day what we do is uh, we uh, we throw our newspaper in dustbin okay why because next day a uh, fresh newspaper is coming so once you invest ad, uh, ads uh, one news once you invest uh, your advertising budget in uh, creating a offline pamphlets or offline ad in newspaper then it has very short life very very short, uh, short shelf life of one or two days or three days maximum okay but once you have online website it's going to have a very very long shelf life and it is going to give a very long uh, very uh it's going to last for uh, one year two year three year five year ten year down the line it is it is going to give you a very very high return on investment our uh, tenth reason is global opportunities so you are not uh dependent on uh you're not going to depend on the local business once you have online presence once you have website then the global opportunities can come uh your prospect and customers can come from anywhere in the world just imagine from anywhere in the world okay so that, that is the important reason why you must have website in these days next reason is self service customer support uh, so it is going to act like a uh, customers and prospects can contact you online and uh, they can serve themselves also in many multiple ways uh, to either through chatbot they can serve themselves through automated chatbots or they can uh, automatically just like in a uh, if you might have online uh, banking if you are using net banking so you are serving yourself so bank is saving huge cost uh, because they are not going to serve you similarly you can save a lot of cost once you automate a few things and uh, you can give access of various things to your uh, customers next thing is secure data access to the customers the way uh, i told you in the previous point you uh, your all the your paid customers can you can give them access to important data that is important and relevant for them for example video tutorials for example their online access of their pri uh, private information or uh, you can create a membership website and keep, can give them access of their uh, uh, that of your data uh, privately on one to one basis okay next thing is you can capture a lot of leads through your online websites once you implement things in the right way next thing is it is going to increase your trust and brand credibility uh, for new and old customers for new customers and for old customers uh, once you have online presence it is going to create a lot of trust and brand credibility uh, in the mind of your customers the uh, 15th and last reason is uh, you can attract new customers uh, through content marketing once you uh, market uh, once you market your product and services through content marketing like blogs through uh, videos through infographics through podcast so that is going to attract a lot of new customers on your website once you uh, identify and target right keywords okay so that is the few important reasons why you must have a, uh, a good website a good high converting websites i hope you might have found this video useful so if you uh, found this useful 
and if you are convinced that you must have this website in the next upcoming videos i am going to tell you exactly how you can create a high converting website okay so let's meet you in the next video hi welcome to this particular video in this particular video i am going to tell you what are going to be the 10 steps 10 important steps uh, the way you can uh, create a high converting website and uh, uh, even if you have not create even a single website in your life if you do not have any kind of technical experience trust me in next 60 minute or so you are going to make your first website in your life by using this video step by step okay and never don't meet don't miss even a single step otherwise you will not be able to make a website so uh, important thing is follow the instructions step by step whatever i'm going to give you instructions just do follow that and you'll be able to make a practical website in next 60 minutes okay so let's start with the step number one so here in this uh, particular video i'm going to uh, tell you about 10 easy steps step one two three four ten you need to uh, exactly follow all these 10 steps so step number one is buy domain okay so uh, domain is basically your online identity for example our website is dmp.in uh, there's a website called flipkart.com amazon.com all these are domains so once you want to build any kind of website so first of all you have uh, you need to have a one uh, online identity so you need to buy that okay so uh, i'm going to recommend you a uh, one of the best source to buy domain is namecheap you can buy uh, very affordable domains into this uh, particular uh, uh, domain uh, domain provider so you can use this uh, particular link and you can get uh, approximately 96 percent discount on the domains okay so let's start how you can do that uh, just you need to copy that i'm going to provide you link here also uh, go to just dmp.vip slash domain okay so once you'll go into this domain you are going to redirect to this particular uh, website just a second this is for example this is step number one okay so here you are uh, going to get up to 96 percent off today uh, from this uh, special link so once you want to buy any kind of domain for example uh, i'm going to buy uh, dmpiindia.com let me search this search this domain if it is available whatever domain you are going to use you uh, you need to uh, search for that whatever is your personal branded website if you want to make a personal branded website or you want to make a, uh, a company website whatever you need to uh, go ahead and buy that domain okay for example this domain is available at 531 rupees per year it is very affordable hardly uh, uh, a seven eight dollar just you need to add to cart whatever is your favorite domain you just need to add to cart check out so this is going to the amount that you need to pay confirm order so if you want to create any new account you can create account your username password confirm password password first name second name email address create your account and continue for example if you want to create new account create account and continue your company name job title address and country code and uh, email address and after that you have to may make the payment all right uh, whatever is your address you can uh, reach it out and your phone number so i am here going to give you a dummy address continue and you can uh, you just need to fill out all those details and just hit on continue you need to make payment of 531 rupees or 7 or 8 dollar whatever the amount of uh, uh, your domain is and you just need to make the payment here card details name on card card details card billing address okay and you need to uh, confirm this order and complete this order and once you'll complete this order once you'll complete this order you will get an access of a domain you will get an instant access to your domain account on GoDad uh, on names uh, cheap all right and you'll be able to access your domain okay in the next uh, step i'm going to uh, uh, i'm going to show you how you can access that uh, particular account okay hi there this is gaurav bhardaj once again in this particular video i'm going to tell you about uh, in last video we have purchased domain so that is our brand identity 
we need actually only two things to uh, make an online website a high converting stunning website one is domain that is our online identity and the second thing is hosting okay in which or all the content is going to be uh, on that particular hosting so it's going to kind of like a uh, we are going to uh, buy some space online so that our all the content is going to be uh, available at that particular place okay so only two things we need to buy domain and hosting uh, to make a basic uh, stunning website okay so if you want to buy any other things that you can buy any time but at least two basic things you need, uh, you need to require is first is domain and the second is hosting okay in this particular video i'm going to tell you about how you can buy hosting and which hosting providers are one of the best okay so let's start so here's the sec uh, step number two uh, you need to buy hosting okay so SiteGround is one of the best hosting provider that I am personally using. I'm going to show its access also in next upcoming videos. So uh, in SiteGround, you can buy this hosting from this special link, uh, dmp.vip slash SiteGround. I'm going to provide you this link, dmp.vip slash SiteGround. Uh, you can get approximately 53% discount on this particular link. Okay. So uh, what is going to be the cost for this uh, hosting? Let me tell you briefly. Uh, uh, if you want to make unlimited website, unlimited website that it is going to cost you approximately 9100, uh, 91932 rupees per year. So approximately 761 rupees per month. Okay. So in dollar terms, it is going to be around $120 for a year. Okay. So that's going to be your cost of hosting in which you can make unlimited websites. Okay. And if you have plan to create website for your clients also, then you can charge even 10,000 to 20,000 rupees to create even a single website and your all the investment that you're going to make right now, you can revert or uh, you can uh, easily get all the back within next uh, one or two months. Okay. So if you want to make only one website, then there's another plan that is uh, uh, that will cost you approximately 6,400 rupees per year. So that is going to cost you approximately 533 rupees per month. Okay. Uh, that's the only cost that you need to uh, make a website. Okay. So that's it, the cost of creating a website, basic cost. Okay. So let's start how you can buy hosting. So you just need to copy this link dmp.vip slash site ground. I'm going to give you link here also dmp.vip slash site ground. Once you'll click onto this link, you will redirect to this particular page. Uh, let's go to this particular page. Once you'll copy and paste into the browser, then you're going to re redirect to the this uh, site ground website uh, with a discounted link. So you need to buy this uh, website, uh, WordPress hosting that started right now. Your, uh, there are three packages, three basic packages, startup, grow big, go kick. So if you want to make only one website in the entire life, then you can select this particular pay package, $6.99 approximately seven dollar per month uh, it's going to get started approximately 53 percent discount is there and if you want to make multiple website then you can purchase this particular package 9.9 dollar .9 per month approximately 53 uh, 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 percent discount uh, normal price is 25 dollar but a discounted price is only 9.9 dollar .9 okay so in this plan you can make unlimited website it's good for 25,000 visitors monthly 20 gb web space you'll get Okay, here you'll get 10,000 visitors monthly, 10 GB web space. Okay, so uh, you can uh, make unlimited uh, database, unlimited web uh, emails, 30, uh, money, uh, 30 days money back guarantees also there. Okay, so you just need to select this particular plan, GAT plan right now. So you need to uh, either you have, uh, you can create a new domain name here or you, uh, whatever domain name you have purchased in the past step, step number one, you need to, uh, enter that domain here okay for example uh, for example if i have one domain called gorobhardas.in so whatever your domain name is you can uh, put in your domain name here and just uh, proceed all right you need to create a your online account here in hosting you need to provide your email id password confirm password all the client information your country city first name address last name zip code company phone number vet id if you have any your payment information your credit card details expiry cvv code purchase information uh, this particular uh, package you have decided 12th month best deal 
if you want to go for 24 or 36 months that's not recommended but initially once you are going to just start you just need to buy this 12 months package best deal okay so it is going to cost you approximately 119 dollar 120 dollar approximately uh, 9100 rupees in indian terms okay and uh, you don't need to uh, get this sg site scanner i confirm i have read ag agreement i would like to receive site down news and special offers by email pay now okay once you are going to complete this transaction then you will get an access of uh, hosting from site ground and you will get an access of control panel from where you can control multiple websites your website others people website in the next uh, upcoming steps i'm going to uh, show you how you are going to get that uh, uh, access of uh, control panel okay and you'll get instant email as well as your uh, password and you can get access of uh, all those control panel and everything from the same email id and password that you have created right now right here your email id and password from the same password and email ids you can get access of that particular link of uh, that particular account of site cloud okay so i hope in this uh, particular video you are going to uh, you are clear crystal clear in your mind how you can buy a uh, hosting to make a website okay only two things you need your domain and hosting okay everything uh, everything else is optional okay so let's meet in the step number three in next video okay bye bye take care thank you hi in this particular video we are going i'm going to tell you about how to connect your domain and hosting in the previous two steps uh, we have bought a domain from namecheap and we have bought hosting from siteground now these are two different platforms now how they can connect and they can communicate in this particular video i'm going to tell you about that so let's start so in this particular step number three uh, we have uh, to connect domain and hosting so we are going to connect it uh, by connecting your name server one and two okay so once you buy a domain from site down then you will get these two information uh, name server one and two either on your email address or you on your uh, uh, dashboard okay so let's move to the dashboard so once you are going to uh, log in into your site ground for example just a second let me uh, log in into my site ground account so i have entered into my site ground account so let's move to the website and let's go to the control panel this orange color button click here so this is going to be my control panel in which i can completely manage my all the hosting things from here okay so that's uh, how it is going to be reflect so in this particular hosting account there are two important things you will get your name server one and two here okay so you just need to copy name server one and you just need to go to the your uh, namecheap account and you will find all the domains that you might have purchased here okay for example i have purchased goldbhavda.in examsuccessmantra.com uh, so whatever domain you want to uh, uh, redirect your uh, hosting to so you just need to click on the manage and once you will click on the manage you will find here option of uh, uh, adding name servers okay you will find here name servers okay so you need to add uh, name server one i've already added name server one and two but if you want to add name servers uh, you just need to click on the add name server you just need to paste that particular thing that you have copied from the uh, site ground okay so i am right now not going to uh, paste it because it's going to create a three third record but you just need to create a name uh, just need to copy name server one and another name server two from here and ju you just need to paste here name server two and add name server okay so that's it so that's it that's the way you can connect your domain and hosting okay so uh, similarly uh, now uh, the domain and hosting can communicate each other okay it's very very simple step but uh, you need to connect okay so i hope uh, you'll find this step very very simple and easy step number three and you will be able to uh, do it very quickly okay so let's move to the step number four and see what is going to be the next okay so let's meet in the next video hi in this particular video in step number four i am going to tell you how to install wordpress so let's start in this step number four i am going to tell you how to install wordpress uh in this uh, uh, fourth step it's going to divide it into three simple steps uh, first uh, we are going to add your domain in your control panel and step number four b we are going to uh, install wordpress and in step number four c you will get access of your wordpress website from where you will uh 
uh, you will manage all the controls of your website. Okay, all the controls will be managed by in step number four C that whatever installation that you're going to get it. Okay, so okay, so let's see step by step what is going to the step number four A, four B, four C. Let's move on. So once you'll go to the, your Namecheap uh, dashboard, you can whatever domain you want to add into your hosting, you can just copy it. For example, I want to add this domain in my hosting. Just go to the control panel on your hosting account. You will find here a uh, option to add a domain. Okay. In your hosting, you will uh, find an option of add domains. So just simply click on this and you just need to paste that domain, whatever domain you want to add into that particular website. Uh, just tab. So all these details will be automatically filled and you can create your password here whatever password you want to create so those two password needs to be matched and add a domain okay you need to click and add in domain okay so the moment you will add this domain all the domains will be uh, reflected here okay so whatever domain i have previously added it has been reflected here okay so right now i am not going to add but you can add this simple step okay next day in the next step what you are going to go uh what you need to do it you again click on the websites and you will find an option of a wordpress into this particular dashboard of control panel just a second let's uh getting loaded let's again go to the control panel you will find an option of wordpress okay you will go here wordpress Click on the WordPress and uh, uh, you need to install it. You will uh, find a blue color button here. Just click on this install. And whatever the domain that you want to add, you will find here all the domains. All the domains you have added uh, in the previous step, you will find all the domains here. Okay. So I have added like a crazy amount of domains. So whatever domains you want to install WordPress on, for example, blogger learning i want to add on this particular domain okay i want to add uh, my uh, wordpress on this particular domain bloggerlearning.com that is kind of test domain so uh, you make sure this is going to be empty there should not be something in directory okay sometimes it happens like uh, uh, by default it is going to be like this wp so make sure it needs to be blank okay after that you can select whatever the wordpress version you want to install here you can uh, site setting your blog name your uh, site description whatever amount uh, site description you want to have uh, you can choose your admin name for example blogger learning and password whatever password you want to select for example okay so this is the password i am going to uh, check it so you can choose your password and you can choose here admin email id on which email id you want this access uh, this uh, registered uh, admin name and password for example i want this uh, admin email so whatever uh, change tomorrow if you want to if you uh, if, you, if you forget uh, any kind of password then you, uh, by uh, using forget password you will get all the access on this particular email admin email id okay so this is important admin email id you can select the language and just click on the install that's it okay so now the process is ongoing uh seven percent eight percent the moment it is going to go on hundred percent you will get all the access on your email registered email ids admin email ids and you will get access here also okay so administrative url will be https slash blogger learning.com slash wp admin you just need to click on this email ids and you will get the same email uh, uh, this thing uh, on your email also uh, admin pass admin email ids so just need to click and you will get all the access of your dashboard okay very simple steps uh, from here this dashboard we will manage all our websites complete website access will be managed by from this particular dashboard okay so i hope you will find this video very very useful and very very simple and easy to understand and the next video i'm going to tell you how you can manage your website all the things will be we will manage from this dashboard okay so thank you so much for watching we'll meet in the 
next step next video bye bye take care so in step number five we are going to install a theme okay what is theme let's see so once we'll go into our dashboard there's an option of appearance okay we'll go to the themes theme is basically the way our website is going to look like okay so you will get a lot of free themes over here by default you will get few themes here uh, let's see which are the themes but you can always add theme by clicking on here add new themes so theme is basically the structure of your website how it is going to look like okay so there are a lot of themes that is preloaded here so there are a lot hundred hundred of themes is available depending on your industry for example if you are a real estate broker you can find themes here uh, depend on the your industry for example real estate you will find themes a lot of free themes available okay so this is theme you can uh, preview here and you can install also there uh, if you i want to install this particular theme if i like it so that's how it's going to look like uh, now there is no content available in our website so that's the way that's the reason why it looks like this but if you want to install just click here on the install and it's going to get installed in your website okay so uh, you can activate it this theme So basically, it's going to give you a structure of your website. Okay, now let's see how our website is looking like. Visit website. So right now, our website is looks like something like this. Bloggerlearning.com And let's see how it's going to look like. So that's the way our website is looking like right now. Okay, um, in the next 30 or, 50, 30 or 40 minutes, I'm going to change this completely. So if you want to uh, search any other themes, again, you can go to the add new themes and you can add other themes like depending on the industry. If you want to uh, blog, then you can find out themes re uh, related to bloggings. You will find here a lot of themes available. Okay, you can just simply install and preview whatever you want to do it and install and activate. If you want to theme like, uh, if you want to build a theme like uh, courses, Okay, online courses, if you want to make website in and around that, you will find themes like that. Okay, if you are in insurance industry, you will find themes like uh, themes around that. Insurance. Okay, so you will find themes regarding insurance. So whatever industry you are in does not matter you can make websites in and around that you just need to install that particular theme whatever industry you are in you just need to activate simple okay uh, if you i want to install this particular theme i just need to install it and i just need to activate it it's as simple as that okay so i hope you will find this uh, uh, video useful in the next uh, in this particular step we have installed theme okay so that our website have a structure so let's move to the next video so in next step, we are what we are going to be, uh, see is plugins. What are plugins? Plugins are basically small apps, small apps, just the way you have, you might have smartphones and there are a lot of apps in Play Store. In similar way, there's a, uh, in uh, WordPress, there's a lot of plugins, just similar to the apps that can perform various kind of functions in your website, okay? So we are going to install, I'm going to show you a few basic uh, WordPress plugins that you can install and activate right now so that you'll be able to make sure that uh, all the basic functionalities uh, are going uh, very smooth in your website. So, okay, so let's start. So we are, I'm going to show you a few uh, basic plugins that you can install. Just uh, go to your dashboard and go to the here plugin sections. Okay, so uh, let's see uh, add new plugin. Just click on the add new plugin in plugin sections on it it will redirect to you here so there are lakhs and lakhs of plugins available there whatever you want to do in website there is a plugin for that if you want to make a landing page there is a plugin for that if you want to do seo there is a plugin for that if you want to install code there is a plugin for that whatever is possibility but uh, whatever is possibility in your mind everything there is a plugin for that okay for example if you want to do seo let's see what are the top plugins for seo so there is a Yoast SEO plugin. You can see there are 5 million active installations. 
five star rating, 27,000 ratings. So five million, approximately 50 lakh ratings are there. So you just need to install it without even a second thought, okay? So we are going to install it. And if you want to activate, just activate it right now from here, okay? That's it. It is as simple as that. Uh, after installing this uh, particular SEO plugin, you will find a lot of uh, things in when you are going to make a pages and post uh, where you can optimize these things, okay? Again, we can go to the net, add new plugins and you will find whatever kind of plugins you want to uh, uh, make sure uh, you will find it here, okay? For example, just a second, I am going to make sure head and header and footer. So we'll find a plugin in uh, 1 million active installation. Install now. Don't ask me why. Just install it right now. Okay. I'm not going to activate it right now. Uh, another. So if you want to uh, track analytics, then you can uh, search Google Analytics if there is some pl plugin available. Okay. So Google Analytics dashboard plugin for WordPress Monger site. Just install now. Okay. Uh, another plugin is contact form. So that people can contact you if you want to do that you can install this uh, contact form 7 install now okay so you'll find lot of uh, plugins whatever is whatever can come in your mind you will find a plugin for that okay so uh, if you want to um, let's see all the install plugins by clicking on here install plugins and these are all the plugins that has been uh, installed okay so uh, right now if you want to bulk install Activate anti spam. This is by default. Activate Google Antics. Activate, activate, activate. Okay, so uh, one particular uh, plugin is activated already. Another plugins we have to activate it. So I don't want to activate this Hello Daily. So you need to click on the bulk action, activate, apply. So in this way, you will be able to uh, activate all the plugins in just one go. Okay, if you want to delete, deactivate, that also you can do. Okay. So in this particular video, I have shown you how to install plugins. Plugins are super important in running your WordPress website. If you want to do anything, there's a plugin for that. Okay, so let's move to the next video. Hi there, uh, my name is Gaurav Bhardwaj and in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can create basic and advanced level of pages. Okay, so let's start. So in this uh, uh, video, I am going to show you how you can, can create a normal page. Uh, uh, how you can add medias, videos, images, how you can add text, how, how you can add different elements like buttons, images, videos, as well as I'm going to uh, tell you uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you some advanced level of high converting pages, how you can create high converting pages at advanced level, okay? So in this particular video, I'm going to tell you about how to create basic pages, okay? So let's go to our dashboard. And uh, before that, uh, I'm going to show you something. Uh, so here's our website. Now here you can see that it is a home. It is a page. Okay, so this is a page. So in page, you can add your text background. You can add videos. You can add buttons. Okay, multiple, you can add these kind of boxes. You can add this kind of buttons. So multiple things you can add in a particular uh, pages. So if I see a high converting landing page, so here's a high converting landing page that starts with a uh, headlines. After that, you can send some brief uh, sub headline. Uh, you can add video, you can add call to action. This is a button. If I am going to click here, then it's going to redirect me to the payment gateway. Okay, so this is payment gateway. So let's go back to the page. Okay, someone wants to buy that course, they can get, uh, go ahead and enroll, enroll that. So let's move uh, here. You can add this kind of boxes. So this is basically an example of videos. What is the possibility of uh, adding a pages? So you can add multiple images as well as um, boxes. So uh, boxes and text, multiple things you can add. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page and how you can add at least basic elements uh, as a beginner. So if you create here, if you see here, it is a uh, there's a, a option of page. If you uh, going to click on add new page. Just click on the add new page. So it's going to ask you for what is the title of that particular page. So here you can add the title of the page. It's going to be a permalink, whatever link uh, uh, is going to be there. It's going to come out of this title. So for example, I'm going to offer email marketing free crash course. 
in Hindi. Okay, so this is one of the my course that I am going to provide free. So let's hit publish, and let's hit publish. So this one particular page has been published. Okay, so if you can see here plus sign button, just click on this plus sign button, and you can add here multiple things. Ah, uh, like you can add paragraphs, images, headlines, YouTube video, videos, gallery list, quote. Okay, common block elements. So right now I am going to add headline. What is the headline of my this particular page? For example, email marketing free crash course in Hindi. Okay, so ah, uh, let me update it. And after that, let me add uh, some more elements, add blocks, and I'm going to add one YouTube video. Okay, so just click on the video, and you have to uh, embed. If you have uh, any kind of video on YouTube, you can just embed it. Copy this complete URL, go to the dashboard, and uh, just paste that URL, and click on the embed. The video is going to embed. All right. After that, if you want to add some kind of images, then just uh, click on the plus button. right now i want to add uh, image okay just click on the image so you need you can upload an image so right now i can i want to embed uh, let's see this particular image okay so same image hai ah uh, you can add that image so this is image uh, in above i have added one video we just below that you can add a image okay uh after that i want to add some kind of uh, let's see what we can add here and let's see common blocks you can add file you can or add quote audio cover okay list gallery gallery in gallery you can add multiple images videos paragraphs so if i want to add paragraphs just click on the paragraphs and you can write it here email marketing crash course in hindi is available for free now okay that's it so you can add multiple images and you can add on add on uh, you can add according to whatever you want to add into this particular uh, uh, page uh, and after that just uh, hit on the update and this uh, public uh, this this page is going to get updated in real time instant update it will get done okay if you want to change here other settings and you can add uh, featured image featured image is that uh, top image that you people uh, will have to see first if you want to add this as a featured image then that also you can do for example if i want to add the same image as a featured image just set featured image okay so that's the only thing that you need to do in a uh, page so just uh, complete uh, just uh, click on the update and uh, let's see preview how this uh, page is going to look like so let's see uh, is getting loaded so here's a our uh, here's our featured image okay here's our title uh, here's our uh, video that we have embedded here another image that we have just added below that okay so that's how our uh, this uh, particular page is going to looks like okay so awesome so i hope uh, this uh, uh, particular video has uh, helped you in creating a basic kind of pages how you can add basic pages so let's uh, see uh, i have added few more pages into uh, page section like uh, uh, here you can see pages and all pages so similarly i have added few more pages that we are going to use in the future videos like contact us page i have made similar way uh, email marketing free crash course home page our services page uh, privacy policy sample page these these few pages also i have added and we are going to use in the future video so but before that let's uh, see some kind of advanced level uh, uh con high converting landing pages how you can create that in the next video okay so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video hi guys welcome to this uh, brand new video is this particular video i am going to tell you about how you can create high converting landing pages awesome landing pages and uh what kind of tools i am using that are also i am going to show you in this particular video so okay so let's get started of if you go to our website then um uh this is the landing pages uh, at the front end so how we have created this particular landing pages and if you see here uh we have created some other pages also uh here in uh we are running like uh, different uh, courses so uh 
if I see this uh, one particular page like uh, Affiliate Marketing 360 Mastery Course, uh, then uh, in this particular uh, pages, uh, if you can see here, uh, we have put attractive headlines, then we have shown this, and after that we have inserted a video, then one call to action, if someone wants to buy our courses, then uh, they can click on this uh, particular page and they can go and uh, make the payment, okay? Uh, so this kind of call to action, how you can add this uh, images, all right? So text, you can add text, you can add this kind of strips, uh, buttons, okay? Uh, so you can add this kind of images, call to actions, buttons, okay? Images, blocks, we have added four blocks here, okay? So we have inserted one particular video, uh, we have created some kind of curriculum, okay? So how we have created this particular landing pages and how you can create that, uh, that I'm going to show into this particular video, okay? So what I'm using right now here is, uh, uh, let me go on our, one of our dashboard in one of our other website. So here's a one theme that is a Thrive theme. So earlier you might have noticed that we have selected one theme, okay? Theme is basically the structure of your website. Structure of your website. We have used earlier free themes. Okay, so this theme is not free, but it has it is very a very cost effective theme, and you can do multiple kind of things from this uh, particular theme. Okay, so you can optimize your different pages and posts from these themes. Uh, you can uh, create courses also through this kind of one of plugins. You can uh, use widgets that I'm going to show uh, in upcoming videos. What is widgets? But you can manage widgets also if you want to. Uh, shows one kind of targeted ads, targeted pop-ups, targeted uh, stripes. How you can add uh, this through uh, Clever Widgets. If you want to manage comments professionally, that also you can do three from this particular theme. Okay, and uh, Thrive Architect is you can create amazing landing pages the way I have shown you. This is the Thrive Architect through which you can build that kind of pages. Thrive Ultimate is Ultimatum is also one of another plugin. Uh, uh, through which you can build scarcity pop-ups. Okay, that I'm going to show uh, show in the next uh, in next few times. Uh, and Thrive Leads, Thrive Leads is basically uh, how you can capture different kind of leads, how you can create forms, how you can create exit pop-ups, how you can create uh, stripes that you might have seen in various websites at the top. There is one stripe, red color or stripes. Here, um, the moment you try to exit that particular page, there is a stripe that is available. Okay. So that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, uh, you can optimize headline uh, headlines also of uh, one particular pages. So you can see which headline is converting more. Their people are getting uh, more traction. Okay. So all these things you can manage through this one particular theme called Thrive Themes. Okay. So let me show you first of all um, how you can create a simple landing pages or not even simple but but awesome landing pages from this particular theme. Okay. So let's uh, go to the admin dashboard. And let's go to the pages and let's create a add new, add new page. Okay, so this is going to be kind of bonus lesson. So let's uh, add one page. So let me uh, show you, uh, let me add one this particular uh, page, email marketing crash course in English. Okay. So let me title it English, okay. Okay, so you can go ahead and uh, hit it publish also. But before that, let me select here default template. Let me uh, select landing page. Okay, and let me uh, hit publish. Let me hit publish, and this uh, particular page is going to get published. Okay, the moment I am going to get it published. Uh, after that, let me see. Um, uh, this option is only going to come when you will when you will install this particular theme. Okay, so I have already installed in my uh, one of my website. So uh, I'm going to click on launch Thrive Architect. So it is getting loaded. Now the page has loaded. So you just need to click uh, here or uh, change templates. Click on uh, this change templates and you will see here uh, the lot of templates that is going to be available. Okay. So you have multiple smart landing pages, uh, different kind of other pages like legacy landing pages, 
blank landing pages. So you have amazing templates, approximately 500 plus different kind of landing pages, awesome landing pages that you can use for your particular website. So you can uh, generate landing pages uh, that is used for capturing leads. You can use uh, different sales pages. So if you want to click any of these uh, themes, then uh, just click on the expand set button and you will in this particular theme, what kind of pages available that is going it is it's going to show you. Okay, so here is it is a mini squeeze page, mini squeeze page, mini squeeze page. Okay, uh, if I can see here video course, then it's going to show me different kind of templates. I can choose any kind of templates that is available here. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, Review, Confluence, Know How, Corporate, Serene, Addition, Fame. So what kind, whatever kind of uh, templates you want to use, you can use that. Rockstar, let's see, Rockstar, let's get expanded. Rockstar, Download Rocks and Confirmation, Rockstar, Opt-in page. So just a second, let me see. Element templates, big picture, simple, flat. Okay, so here we have uh, select this uh, bright page and in this particular page, let's see uh, and click on this bright sales pages. You can uh, create download pages, also email confirmation page, uh, lead generation page, multiple kind of templates is available in under one theme. So let me select this bright sales pages. I'm just going to click and change template. Now this template is getting loaded. Just wait. Now template changed successfully. Now this particular template has been loaded. Okay, so just a second. In a few seconds, it's going to get up. Uh, yes, here it is. Now this complete template has been loaded. So here's the attractive headline. Then we have video. Then you have another uh, headline. Then there's some text available there. Uh, then feature highlights. There's a multiple text sections available here. Get instant access five simple steps and this is basically templates so you can drag and drop and change any kind of template uh, any kind of elements into this particular page that has been loaded so i'll show you how you can change any kind of elements okay so if you want to uh, change this particular headline okay so let me change it and let me uh, change it uh, here's our free uh, email marketing crash course in english okay so I have just uh, changed the headlines. If you want to change this uh, video, just click on the video and whatever video you want to change, uh, you first have to uh, upload that video on YouTube and by just clicking on the URL or URL of the that particular video, whatever you want to change, simply copy that uh, URL and just go to this, uh, just a second, just go to this uh, page, click on the video, here you will find URL. So you can embed from anywhere from YouTube, Vimeo, Vistia, upload video player. So I am here going to upload it from YouTube. So click on the YouTube. I am going to replace this URL. Just replace this URL. That's it. The video has been changed. Okay. If I want to change any kind of elements, I can change this text. I want to delete and I want to, I want to change this text. Okay, whatever you want to write, you can write it down. Similarly, you can uh, simply click on that uh, particular element of text. You can change whatever you want. Okay. So if you want to change any kind of image that also you can change first just by clicking on the image, replace image. So you, if you have already uh, any kind of image preloaded that you can also change. Okay. For example, if I want to change this particular image to uh, this image. Okay. So click on that image insert into this post so this image has been replaced great so if you want to change its size you can change it by simply here you can change its height okay so whatever you want to change you can change here so different elements layout and position you can change you can up uh, you can change the margins up and down you can change the image effect if you want to uh, scroll behavior sticky parallax you can change that Border and corners, if you want to make it border, that also you can do here just by clicking here. So there is a black border. If you want to change the color of the border, 
you can ch uh, change here just apply it okay so it is very simple if you want to add any kind of animation that also you can do like if you want to uh, slide from the left so this is going to enter from the slide if you want to uh, uh, slide from the bottom then you it is going to appear from the bottom okay so just uh, apply it save work okay so that's how you can that's very easy simple drag and drop editor uh, that you can use to create stunning uh, pages whatever you want to change you can change entirely things okay so this is the first part okay uh, and if you want to build any kind of uh, uh, landing page from the scratch if you want to build any kind of uh, landing page from the scratch then there is a option on the right side there's a plus button okay if you want to click on this pl plus button then uh, you can add multiple things here you can add text images button columns the uh, background section content box templates and symbols logos a uh, click to tweet content box countdown timer countdown evergreen okay whatever you want to add you can add that for example if i want to uh, create some kind of column so you just need to uh, click here and just uh, drop it here so whatever columns you want to select for example this is half half 50 50 column two column layout three column layout four column layout uh, one by three third two by third one by third two fourth and one fourth for example if i want to uh, choose this so here are three columns that has been added okay so just a second let me delete uh, one of this so here's a, it has been added three columns so whatever element i want to add into these columns i can add by just simply clicking here up uh, in the first image i want to add a uh, image okay so let's see which kind of image i want to enter for example uh, let's add uh, this particular image okay this is a in uh, this is one of the box that i have added and the second uh, image i want in the second box i want to add for example if i want to add here countdown timer okay countdown timer is here countdown timer okay just simply drag and drop if you want to change its style just uh, click on here and just go to the main option and if you see here it is simple if you want to make it stylish just select it apply if you want to change its color if you don't like its color then you can simply click here on color whatever color you want to change if you want to change it blue it's going to get blue okay so simply apply it's as simple as that simple drag and drop editor if you want to add a button you simply simple click and and uh, the button is added okay if you want to redirect this particular uh, uh, if you want some somebody wants to click on this button and they are going to redirect into any particular uh, url any kind of payment uh, uh, option that you can do it very simply just by uh click here to and row and roll now okay so simply click on to this button and you can choose the color of the button for example if i want red color button simply choose red color of button apply and uh, if you see here uh, animation and action just go to this link change hyperlink so if you want uh, the moment somebody click on to this button and they are going to redirect to any particular url then you can add that url here for example courses dot uh, dot tmp dot in the moment somebody wants to click into this link they are going to redirect to this particular link apply save okay so that's it so if i want to see its preview uh, just click on the preview here and let's see how this particular page is going to look like let's see okay cool free email marketing crash course in english here is the video why do you need this product and here is whatever time a uh, timer we have chosen a uh, time you can change the time whatever you want uh, here is the image the moment i am going to click here click here to enroll now it is going to redirect me to another url okay so this another page is getting loaded but wherever you want to redirect that per person of your website visitors you can redirect to anywhere okay so it has been redirect here uh, let's move into the uh, next part if you if whatever you want to change uh, for example here is the animation that we have changed right now uh, the uh, red color borders okay so whatever you want to change here you can change into this particular uh, landing pages apart from that if you see here uh, uh, if you want to click on uh, if you are going to click into this plus color or plus button then you can add multiple things here 
if you go down you can add click to tweet content reveal countdown timer uh, uh, countdown evergreen uh, every time somebody loads your page it's going to restart again a uh, credit card details if i want to add credit card details simply uh, click here and push it here so that this crack, uh, credit card details are also getting loaded loaded so let me delete it okay so all the credit card details is getting loaded if some if you want to change this thing uh, just go to the main option if you if you want to delete something just delete it okay so it is as simple as that if you want to ch uh, change its size you can change its size layout and position if you want to uh, make it center aligned it's going to get center aligned so it is very simple and very basic uh, drag and drop editor and if you want to uh, at discuss comments credit card details custom menu divider if i want to add divider simply click on to this link and add the divider so divider is added if you want to custom divide custom this divider if you want to change its thickness you can change its thickness if you want to change its color you can change its color okay simply apply whatever you want to do you can do any kind of stuff into this particular landing page creator okay so if you want to change uh, icon a uh, fill counter a uh, fill counter is what let me show you fill counter let me click in fill uh, if i want to change uh, its fill counter uh, to green color that i can do how much percentage that needs to be filled for example here it is uh, 75 okay if i want to change it for for example 90% so it's going to get 90% okay so this is very awesome kind of a tool that i am using right now and you can do multiple things even though i have not <laughs> uh, explored as each and everything you can add star rating to your products and services by clicking here you can change the style okay so if you want to change whatever you uh, want to change if you want to make it 4.5 star that you can also do here whatever star you want if you want 4.5 star you will get 4.5 star ratings okay so this is very very simple you want to add table that also you can add tables tax testimonials means whatever you can think about in adding a page you'll find it here okay uh, one main thing i want to show it right now here uh, the main thing is call to action contact form contact form is very important element if you want to grab any kind of leads uh, then you can add edit this particular form and you can even customize also uh, okay so first name if you want to capture somebody's name email address and message that also you can do from this particular theme okay so there are multiple benefits and multiple options that is available uh, through which you can add this particular theme and it is also a mobile optimized if you uh, see here uh, there is an option of mobile okay so how the your particular page how it is going to look on mobile that also you can track so this is that's how uh, your page is going to look like in mobile phones smartphones okay so if you want to change anything you can change here also if you want to change this particular uh, uh, buttons color you can change by simply click here uh, uh, just change the color apply that's it that's it okay so that's how you can make stunning uh, landing pages through this particular tool and i'm personally using it from quite some time and i'm very happy with this tool and i have researched a lot about this tool about before uh, before selecting this particular tool and uh, let me show you how you can benefit out of this tool okay and how much uh, cost you can save by using this particular tool that i'm using right now okay do you want to see that let me show you how much cost you can save by using this particular tool okay uh, so uh, if you want to create a landing pages okay if you want to create landing pages and if you are going to get any kind of professional landing pages creator like unbounce okay how much it is going to charge you let me show you let's go to the google and search about unbounce pricing it is a basically landing page creator the way we have created landing pages it is similar uh, landing pages creator but how much it costs let me show you uh if we go to the pricing uh its annual price is uh, going to be $79 per month but uh, if we want to opt for monthly plan monthly budgets if you don't have that kind of budget let me show you monthly budget $99 US dollar per month okay build monthly so how much it is going to cost you $99 per month annually how much $1188 in uh, INR terms uh, it is approximately 89,000 rupees okay 
so you can save 89000 rupees by using that tool that i am going to recommend you okay that i am personally using let's see how much other cost we can save let me highlight it into green a membership website membership website is another kind of website like if you see here uh just see uh, let's go to the dashboard and let's see uh, thrive dashboard and thrive let's go to thrive thrive dashboard okay so there is a plugin that comes with this uh, theme that what we call this thrive apprentice thrive apprentice is what it is you can create membership website uh, where you can enroll your students so if you are a coach or consultant or if you are a teacher if you want to build some kind of online courses or online trainings that you need a one kind of learning management system learning management system but in this particular theme you are going to get thrive apprentice in which you can build your own courses also okay but if you are going to buy that particular any kind of tool like professional tool that uh, teachable for example teachable how much it cost to you if you want to enroll your students let's see what is going to the pricing for this so here we can see here the pricing is approximately 29 dollar per month build annually but if i want to build uh, monthly it is going to be 39 dollar per month okay so 39 dollar per month 39 dollar per month annually is going to cost me 468 dollar approximately 32,760 rupees okay so that's going to be my annual membership that i can save that i can save okay so what is going to be the total saving total saving is going to be approximately uh 1 lakh 20 thousand next thing is lead generation plugins okay so there's another tool called uh, opt-in monster that people use that i also have used in the past if you are going to use this particular tool so you can create a multiple kind of uh, lead generation it helps in basically lead generation so you can uh, do multiple kind of things like attention activation content locking device targeting inactive sensor uh, monster effects a uh, monster sounds uh, and uh, uh, somebody wants to exit your uh, page then it's this kind of pop up is going to appear so that people are bound to be in your website bound to be in your landing pages okay so these kind of landing pages if you are going to use opt in monster how much it is going to cost you 19 dollar per month bill annually okay so they have restricted that uh, monthly planning monthly uh, pricing i believe okay so approximately uh, let's see how much it used to cost it used to cost 14 dollar per month 14 dollar per month annually it's going to cost you 168 dollar approximately 8100 dollar annually but if you use uh, this particular tool called thrive uh, thrive themes then there is an option of thrive leads this thrive leads uh, plugin is going to do all the functionalities that opt in monster do exit pop up bars top bars exit bars okay uh exit pop ups on landing pages this thrive leads can capture any kind of landing pages uh themes like for example if i want to show you a few of the example let's see uh, uh let's go to this one of my web pages uh dmp.in slash live webinar so i'm going to show you how this particular things work so if uh, somebody wants to uh if i want to capture somebody's leads so click here to reserve your spot so this kind of uh, opt in form that is going to appear this kind of opt in form has how it is going to appear through the power of thrive leads okay so that's the power of thrive leads uh, so you can uh, save approximately 8100 uh, in annually uh, by using thrive themes and by not using few tools like opt in monster another important things are integrations okay so let me show you what kind of integrations are available available in thrive themes so let's go to the uh, thrive theme.com/integrations so integrations are basically when you want to connect to two applications okay when you want to connect to applications you need integrations so if you get go here if you want to connect your uh, website from another uh, email marketing provider like aweber get response convert kit get, uh, hubspot crm systems or if you want to connect your website to email delivery systems like amazon scs mailgun or if you want to uh, connect your uh, website with webinar platforms like zoom go to webinar then what you need is uh, if you use uh, thrive themes that what i am using is 
you don't need any kind of third party software but if you don't use these themes then you need some kind of third party softwares like zapier okay and let me show you how much it cost how much it cost how much tools like zapier cost you uh, just a second let me show you okay zapier how much it is going to cost you just a second let me show you uh, these are uh, these are basically uh, tools that can integrate two applications so okay okay here it is so if you want to perform 750 tasks it is going to cost you at least 20 dollar so if you want to move to the 1500 tasks in a month then it is going to cost you 39 dollar professional plans for everything you your uh, its cost is going to get increased but if you use thrive themes then all these cost you can save you can save this kind of cost 39 dollar at least conservatively if i spoke about uh 39 monthly cost 460 dollar annual cost 32,770 rupees annually okay that cost also you can save if you use thrive themes that what i'm going to recommend you what i'm using another tool called deadline funnel uh these are basically act like a uh uh this is to, uh, basically uh helping you creating a scarcity in the mind of your website visitors so that they buy, buy products immediately so there is a tool called deadline funnel okay so and how does it work basically uh it creates a scarcity angle that i'm going to show, show you right now supercharge your marketing you you can build evergreen funnel with simple blueprints so you can uh, create these kind of timers okay if you are going to use deadline funnel how much it is going to cost you let me show you you can use this kind of uh, timer are you watching this you uh, if somebody wants uh, if somebody uh, uh, click on your landing pages this kind of uh, this kind of uh, uh, ribbons are going to come at the bottom of your website uh, this kind of uh, thing okay scarcity to build scarcity so how much does it cost let us see by going into the pricing it is going to cost you approximately uh, monthly billing $37 per month okay $37 per month at least 4000 leads per month if i want to uh, generate more than 1000 leads then it's going to cost me more okay so it's going to cost me $67 but at least uh, let me let me assume conservatively it is going to cost me $37 per month so how much it is going to be annual cost approximately $444 approximately 33000 rupees in indian terms so what is going to be the total cost of not using this fund of not using these themes it's going to be approximately $2,700, 2 lakh 5,000 rupees in Indian terms. Okay. So, how you can save this 2 lakh rupees? Let me show you how you can save these things and you can uh, get all these features at the fraction of price, at the just fraction of the price. If you go into this link, dmpa.vip slash thrive themes, I am going to give you a special discounted link through which you will be able to save all these costs. You'll be able to save this cost. If you go into this link dmplay.vip slash thrive themes and get this tool. So let me show you how it's going to help you. Uh, let's go to this particular link dmplay.vip slash thrive themes and let's see how what uh, we can do from this particular theme. Okay, so it is uh, through this theme you can make conversion focused WordPress themes and plugins. Uh, just value based actionable content and the tools you need to implement it lowest possible price access to all the two tools let's see what you can do is you can give, uh, build thrive themes uh, you can build your website through these uh, particular themes you can build awesome landing pages like that you i have just showed you uh, what others you can think is uh, build your mailing list through thrive leads you can uh, create this kind of exit pop-ups and everything from these particular themes M multiple call to actions you can even create quizzes out of this uh, tool you can create a uh, professional online courses that i just already showed you and apart from that also you can manage comments professionally and uh, apart from that you can test your multiple landing pages a b test if you want to change the if you want to test the headline which headline is going to get uh, converted the max uh, maximum that you can do thrive ultimate term uh, through this you can build scarcity pop-ups that uh, i have shown you that you don't need to use a plugins called deadline 
all everything you are going to get into this particular tool okay try ovation basically it is uh, for to uh, display testimonial to display professional testimonial across your website okay so let's uh, uh, just uh, click on this link become a thrive team member on this red color button and let me show you something more let me show you something more and let me show you how, what other things that you can do and how you are going to uh, uh, what uh, what else you can do it once you'll get this particular tool and themes what other things you can do is you can uh, whatever i have shown you uh, shown you like you can create landing pages you can uh, build your themes you can create uh, generate leads quiz builder ultimatum this kind of pop ups uh, this kind of scarcity pop ups you can build through these themes okay uh, thrive ovation is to display testimonials clever widgets depending on your um, uh, website visitors where they are uh, hitting in what in what particular uh, category of your blog post you can uh, show them custom uh, call to actions okay very targeted call to action that i am going to show in the next, uh, in upcoming videos headline optimizer you can build courses you can uh, manage comments professionally uh, landing pages that i have already shown you you can build landing pages uh, thrive optimize is basically to optimize uh, your website thrive theme builders and thrive leads is basically to capture leads customers information you can build quizzes here okay and you can build like this kind of scarcity pop ups okay scarcity pop ups at the headline at the top of your page if some uh, if you can get uh, this kind of uh, uh, timers as well as call to actions then that's going to be awesome okay you can uh, thrive ovation you can display testimonials like this okay so i hope you get you are get, now getting convinced that how much valuable this theme is and i have done a lot of research uh, before you know even um, uh, selecting this particular theme and i'm using it for my um, uh, uh, my websites okay so just click on this link get your thrive theme membership now and i am going to tell you a hack i am going to tell you a hack how you can save a lot of cost okay so if you are going to get here and uh, uh, you will be uh, uh, you will be uh, offered two payment option paid quarterly or paid annually okay if you are going to pay annually then it is 19 dollar per month annual it is going to cost you approximately 230 dollar 228 dollar okay but if you pay it quarterly you can get it only at 90 dollar approximately 6300 rupees you can get it a 90 dollar one time lifetime payment okay so simply just click on the add to cart and make the payment and you will be and you can uh, use it on 25 website you can use it on 25 website all the themes and all the uh, plugins but the catch is here the, here is a some uh, hack or catch once you uh, in the next th after 30 days after after 90 days uh, you are not going to renew it and if you do not renew it if you don't renew it then all the functionalities will be available on your website for rest of your life okay so they are not going to withdraw any kind of things from your website uh, but make sure you uh, uh, but make sure you uh, use on, on whatever amount of website you want to use this particular theme uh, within 90 days okay so you just need to click on the add to cart button and you just need to pay, uh, make the payment of 90 dollar approximately 63 6400 rupees and you can get access of the all the thrive themes okay so you just need to pay this 90 dollar uh, you can pay uh, it by with my paypal or credit card you can add your credit card details here okay so that's all about this uh, particular uh, tutorial guys thank you so much for watching i hope you might have find it very very useful how you can utilize these thrive themes to create a awesome landing pages awesome membership websites and a whole lot of stuff okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, i'm going to meet you in the next video thank you so much hi friends welcome to this uh, brand new video in this particular video i'm going to tell you about how you can create a post and what is a post and what is the difference between pages and post so earlier in the last video we have created some awesome pages and in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can create a stunning post so basic what is the basic difference between a page and post uh, a lot of people are getting confused so page is a basically static content static content in your, on your website 
while post is a dynamic content on your website. So let me explain you just a second. So if we here see page, uh, you will see page is a static content in which you will have some kind of a title and there's a, some kind of content available under page. Okay. And uh, nobody able to com comment on this particular particular page and uh, uh, you uh, you don't you never know who has right uh, who has written this page uh, but in post you can get uh, all those features uh, like and uh, post are basically in dynamic in nature for example if you might have seen uh, any kind of article in newspaper that's kind of post okay so in the post uh, uh, there is going to be uh, people can comment here uh, in the post section there is a going to be a post title uh, there is going to be date on which date this particular post has been published uh, who has written this particular post? How many people have commented on this post? Okay, there's going to be post content similar to page, uh, post uh, similar to page, uh, but there's going to be assigned, assigned, uh, there's going to be category in which you can categorize your different posts. For example, you might have five or six different categories in your website, like uh, first category is for Facebook post, second category is for website uh, creation post, second category is for website creation post. Third category could be, for example, email marketing post. So all those articles related to email marketing will be categorized into email marketing posts. Okay, all those uh, articles that is categorized in Facebook ads, all those articles will be in the Facebook category. Okay, so that's how you can uh, uh, you can uh, basically seg segregate different kind of uh, articles in your website. So how you can write uh, this kind of post or uh, articles in your particular website let me show you but be even before that let me show you another one famous blog uh, of uh, mr neil patel so it is a neil patel's blog and if you scroll onto the blog section then you will find lot of blog post so here's an article my uh, secret to ranking number one on google here another is video so video is also a dynamic content but uh, what if you are uh, posting videos on youtube okay so you can embed those uh, videos on your blog post also and you can create a blog okay uh, if you are going to uh, record any kind of podcast okay podcasts are very trending in these days so you can uh, create a podcast as well as you can embed that podcast into your website also okay uh, for example if we see any kind of uh, like article over here so let's see one of this article how it is going to structure so uh, at the top of uh, this article there is some headline after that is there is a featured image and if people want to share, they can share also there on their social media. And after there's a, some explanation and introduction about that particular article, then uh, there's a, another uh, headline, uh, explanation about that headline, some image, some another text, another uh, headline, uh, another some uh, text and explanation of text and with the images. So that's how you can create a long kind of article around 1,500, 2,000 words. Uh, whatever is your capacity and what is what is your uh, content requirement okay so how you can create this kind of articles when you go to the your website and there's a section called posts okay so let me add new post and let's see how we can create the particular post so the way we have added content on our pages and the similar way we can add content on our blog post also okay so let we have selected one article let me just copy and paste and show it you how you can done it like blog software for all blogging needs let me copy this headline and paste it over here and uh, just click on this plus sign button add blocks add paragraphs uh, let me co copy this complete article let's go here and let's just paste it over here okay so this article is getting done so if you want to make any kind of changes, if you want to like uh, bold this particular headline, then you can bold it, italic it. Okay, you can, uh, if you want, and you can put any kind of link also here. You can insert any link here. Okay, so that's how you basically uh, create a blog post. Okay, and a few important uh, other elements into this blog post are, you can create images, you can add image also. If uh, I want to add any kind of image here, in this particular article just add blocks image so let me upload an image uh, let's see let me uh, upload this uh, particular image case study okay so this image has been uploaded 
so it is as simple as that and uh, on the right side if you see uh, there is a going to be some option of doc uh, let's see first let me publish it let me hit publish and publish let's publish this uh, particular blog post now this uh, you can see it also here but now we don't want to see it right now we are going to see it later okay another thing uh, i want to show you to uh, you here is that uh, uh, you can categorize also this particular blog post so if you want to create any kind of category you can create here by clicking just add new category and you can category uh, you can add category for example tools tools is one category let me add this new category and i want this particular blog post to be published in under tools so i just unclick this uncategorized option and uh, so okay all those uh, articles with those who will be are categorized under tools uh, they will be published under cate uh, tools category okay so uh, and if you want to it fine tune like what kind of tools you have added into this particular blog post then you can further it uh, uh, blog, uh, fine tune it by adding some tags so that search engines can scan your articles in a better way for example if i want to add uh, uh, here some kind of tools like a uh, blogging tool or what particular kind of tool i am right now going to add into this particular blog post that i can add for example buzz sumo so if somebody wants to get search on the google search engine then my uh, article can be searched okay you can add a featured image just let me add any featured image here just uh, let's select this particular image so the featured image is selected okay so similarly apart from that you can also uh, just let us update it uh, the article has been updated and if you want to make sure that your uh, article is search engine optimized that we have earlier uh, installed one plugin called Yoast SEO okay so here you can uh, add like blogging tools in 2020 blogging tool, tools in 2020 okay so you can add this focus keyword phrase on which you want to target this particular article and that's how uh, your article is going to look like on your uh, on search engines okay like desktop uh, results is going to look like this mobile results going to look like this on search engines so you can manage search engine optimization through this particular uh, tool called uh, Yoast SEO and you can optimize multiple things here okay so that's how you can create an awesome blog post also uh, preview of this particular blog post how it's going to look like in the my website okay So that's how this uh, blog particular blog post is getting featured so here's our title here's a here's our title of blog post here uh, we have added featured image here's another image and apart from that there's a uh, some kind of text available here okay so if uh, somebody wants to comment they can comment also in this particular blog post and apart from that if you see here right uh these these are called widgets okay we will see in the next two videos uh, how you can going to get manage these kind of widgets so let's see the categories yes there are two categories one is blogging categories and another is tool categories somebody wants to uh, click on the tool categories then all the articles that is under tool categories they will be listed here okay so here's right now only one article under the tool categories so only one article has been uh, uh, you can see one article if you want to uh, click on the blogging categories then all the articles that is under blog category they will be uh, shown to you like this okay so i hope you find uh, this useful really really useful in the next uh, one or two videos i'm going to show you how you can manage these kind of widgets these are called widgets okay whatever is on the right side of your website on your blog post these are called widgets and how you can manage that i am going to tell you in the next to next video okay so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care hi there uh, in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can uh, create and manage menus okay so let's start so when you go into any kind of website then you will at the top you will find this kind of menu okay home about us online courses pre pre learning contact us so that people can navigate easily on your website and they can uh, where they want to go they can go very easily okay so this is very important section menu 
and how you can create a menu in your uh, particular website. So let's go to the dashboard. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, we can go here at uh, appearance. Appearance under appearance, we were going to hit on menus. Okay. You can go under appearance on the menus and you will find this kind of dashboard in, over here. Okay. So here's a default menu uh, that is right now available. If you go to the, our uh, this website, let's see here. Then uh, the menu is kind of like uh, right now, it's not a decent menu. So this menu is like contact us, email marketing, email marketing, home services. So I want to just uh, make sure it is going to be uh, awesome. Okay, so what we can do is uh, here from here, we can create menus, menu one or top menu top menu let's name it and home is going to be the first page email marketing crash course okay let's let me make it page now i don't want this particular page to be get repeated let me remove it uh home page uh, let me delete it email marketing contact us i want to take it here so let me redesign it as our sample pages let me make it our products and that's it uh, under products i want this to be pasted okay and here our, our services so that's how it's going to look like home first page second page is going to be home, our products under our products you can create uh, multiple different pages and uh, here another page is our services and contact us uh, should be at the last okay so uh, let me create this menu Okay, so display location, primary menu, save menu. Okay, so now let's uh, refresh this website. So here it is, home, our products, under our products, there is a category called email marketing, free course, crash course, our services, contact us, okay? And apart from that, I also want to show you some more things, like if you go to the customize option, then you then you'll find some more uh, things here so you can customize basically look and feel of your website also like you can manage typography of your website so how it is going to look like content typography you can select color here like if you want to make sure blue color is there red color is there para typography font family which font family you would want to use in your text arimo Let's publish it. And apart from that heading typography, what kind of heading typography should be there? Uh, what kind of global typography? And apart from that typography, uh, site identity, you can check it here. Uh, you can change the title of your website like uh, blogger learning, my WordPress website, create, as awesome blogs okay so you can check it here last back let's go to the back and you can select colors also of your website like what kind of back background color right now it is white if you want to change it black it's going to get black okay so these things also you can select it from here customize option header image if you want to add in any kind of header image that is going to reflect on every page, you can choose that. Or uh, background image, menus, apart from that widgets, home page setting. Home page setting is important. Uh, whatever uh, a static page or a particular blog post you want to create as a home, that you can do. Okay. For, for example, if any uh, particular home page that you want to select as a home page, you can do that also. Hi friends, welcome to this uh, video. In this particular video, I'm going to tell you 
uh, how you can manage widgets and uh, how you can promote different kind of offers on your website uh, through the power of widgets. So let's uh, straight go into it. Once you go in any kind of particular website, then you will you can find here uh, on your blog post there are some right on right on the right side in sections. Uh, there are some kind of offers that always uh, keep on going. Okay, so in her website there is some promotional offer that is going on like flat sixty percent on Facebook three sixty master course. Uh, flat 60% on Google AdWords 360 Mastery Course, uh, uh, flat 60% on SEO 360 Mastery Course, flat 70% on e, uh, affiliate, e affiliate Marketing 360 Mastery Course, uh, uh, approximately 60% off on Email Marketing 360 Mastery Course. So how you can create these kind of awesome widgets on your website, okay? So let's uh, straight go to our website right now. How it's going to looks like on our website is that we are uh, making on this uh, uh, particular project. So right now, by default, uh, it's reflecting here search categories, recent post, recent comments. OK, so how you can manage this particular important section? OK, so once you will go into the, your website and uh, under appearance, you will go to the widget section. OK, under widget section, you will find a lot of options over here. So right now, whatever section you can see here, search categories, recent post. Uh, and recent comments all these sections are right now right here okay search categories recent post recent comment okay so if you want to uh, delete any kind of section that you you can also delete just by clicking here delete and if you want to add any kind of section over here for example if i want to add calendar so I'm simply drag and drop here block sidebar that's it you can name its uh, calendar just save that's it. Okay. If you want to add any kind of uh, like uh, audio categories, gallery images, you can add. For example, if I want to add image, just uh, click, uh, just uh, let me add here image uh, just below the search. So I can uh, add here image. For example, Google ads, uh, yeah, uh, otherwise, special offer. Special offer. July 2020. Okay, so let me add this image. I have already added this image. Just add that image, and you can um, link it to wherever you want on your website. For example, if I want to add, I want to uh, redirect uh, somebody is going to click here. Then I want to redirect uh, at this particular link. Just save. That's it. Let me zoom it. This, uh, if you want to add navigation menu, that also you can add uh, recent comments, recent post, whatever you want to add, you can do that. Okay, recent post, number of posts you can select, display post date. I don't want to display that, just save it. Okay, the moment I'm going to save it and let's see on our website how it's going to look like. Right now, I'm going to refresh this particular page. So here we have our calendar. Here we have our special offer July 2020. The moment somebody is going to click here, it's going to redirect to the next page wherever I want. Uh, for example, is this particular page, my courses page or my particular landing pages, I can redirect somebody. Okay, and uh, after that, uh, if we see, uh, if we see below, here's a search option recent post option categories option recent post options so whatever i have added here all these things are reflected here okay so recent post is i think it has duplicated so let me delete once okay that's it it is as simple as that so i hope you might have found this video useful really useful so we have made our website in the past 10 steps okay if you Follow just these simple 10 steps. You can make your awesome landing page or awesome landing pages, awesome website, lead generation pages. Uh, you can manage complete website from these 10 simple steps. Okay, as uh, you are going to practice it, you will become more perfect into executing these steps. Okay, so next to what it is, right now we have learned how we can create a, a awesome, stunning website in the past 10 steps. Now um, I'm going to tell you in the next video how you can monetize these skills that you have learned in the past 10 steps. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Last, last meet in the next video. Bye bye, take care. So, so far we have learned 
why website is super important 10 easy steps to create website now on the third part i am going to tell you how you can monetize your website skills okay so there are few uh, important pointers that i want to uh, share with you into this particular video so how you can monetize this uh, skills okay so number one if you have your own product or your own service then you can start monetizing and start selling uh, by creating your own website through these skills okay so if you have at this part, uh, if you make your own website, then that online store or online website that can sell your product or services 24 into 7 into 365 days. Okay, does not matter what is the market situation. If you have right knowledge, right skills, right? If you have a good high converting website with uh, website pages on your web, uh, website, okay, then you can uh, sell your product or services. Uh, 24 into 7 into 365 days okay second you can start creating website for others once you understand this particular skills of how you can create website then you can charge even 10,000 to 50,000 or even more for other people's by creating their websites okay there are a lot of people who wants to uh, make their website uh, in the marketplace okay so you can uh, search projects online also and you can search projects offline also and there are some few platforms like fiverr.com upwork.com where you can find a lot of freelancer projects through which you can create website or landing pages for other people okay third you can create coupon websites so, so for uh, for example few uh, websites are there like sevencoupons.com or uh, couponduniacon.com okay so you can uh, create coupon websites also once you understand this kind of concept and in coupon you can basically create coupon and people are you know very greedy so they come on your website to take some coupon and through which you can also promote some affiliate products okay okay and next thing is you can do affiliate marketing so uh, through blogs or through uh, you can uh, promote uh, multiple kind of products through affiliate marketing either through your blogs or through funnels and through landing pages that we teach in our advanced courses okay Affiliate marketing is uh, basically where you, you are going to promote other people's product. You don't own the product, but you are promoting other people's products. Okay. If you do not have yeah, right now your own product, that also you can uh, promote through your website. Okay. Fifth thing is website flipping. So once you have good website, once you have good high quality content on your website, okay, then you can even flip your website on the platforms like flipa.com. You can sell your website. Once it has a good amount of traffic, once it is a good amount of uh, history, then you can sell also your website. Okay. Next thing is Google AdSense. So if you have enough traffic, if you are in that particular categories like entertainment industry or uh, like political industry where you can get a lot of traffic, so, uh, then you can monetize your website through Google AdSense also. That is Google's official program. Okay. Apart from that, you can create comparison or review websites uh, where you can compare two or three or five different products and uh, before buying any kind of products, okay? People are generally uh, review those kind of products. So you might have also uh, uh, seen that if you are going to buy any kind of product, then you are going to go on Google and search how, what are kind of reviews, what people are saying about that kind of products, okay? That you can uh, build comparison and review websites, okay? And there you can, uh, promote affiliate products also that is one idea you can start generating leads for other people who wants uh, uh, to sell their product and services and who wants uh, uh, to uh, get leads of customers that also you can serve this as a once you understand how you can create a, a website and landing pages uh, that also you can monetize this particular skill set okay next thing is you can also create some kind of local portals Kind of platforms like uh, in India, there are 99 acres, magic bricks, just style. So you cannot build that kind of bigger platforms, but you can uh, uh, be, uh, you can make your smaller platforms in your area and in your regions. And you can uh, connect people like uh, what is 99 acres? What is magic bricks? They are basically connecting different peoples like who wants to buy properties and who wants to sell properties and uh, brokers in the market. Okay. If you can uh, connect all these people at your website at your platform that also you can build and monetize this particular skill set okay so i hope these few of these ideas can really help you in uh, getting results okay how you can particularly monetize these particular skills that you have uh understanding the last uh, particular 10 steps okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh let me meet in the next and last video okay so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care thank you so much for watching this all this video and completing all the stops Congratulations uh, for completing this course. I hope 
uh, you are the action takers because a lot of people might have already dropped out of okay but if you are watching this video okay it means only one and one thing you are an action taker you are an action takers and you are very serious okay so if you are a serious and you are an action takers in this particular video i am going to share you something game plan or on which you can track your uh, progress very fast okay so let's start so what we have learned in this course so far we have understand why website is super important second we have understand 10 simple and easy steps to create a stunning website third we have uh, i have shown you how you can monetize this skill set or your website okay and what are going to be your next action steps so that you can get started right now okay so actually what do you need what do you need you need only two things you need domain and hosting to get started okay you need only two things domain and get hosting to get started so you can get domain at anywhere at around 100 to 500 rupees depend on what kind of domain you are going to buy okay so you can uh, follow these instructions on uh, by going into this um, link dmp.vip slash domain and buy your uh, first domain and you will get 96 percent up to 96 percent discount on this particular link second what do you need you need hosting so you can go to this link site uh, gamepay.vip slash site ground and you can get started with your first hosting okay and here you will get 53 percent discount on above links and uh, if you want to make unlimited website not for not only for you yourself but also for your clients then you can select this particular uh, package uh, that i've already shown you and in, in this particular package you can start it with uh, as low as 761 rupees uh, per month growth package and if you want to uh, make only one website then you can follow a basic package that is going to start from 6400 per year okay so it's going to cost you approximately 533 rupees per month okay so only these two things you need to get started if you want to upgrade to the thrive themes that i have shown you that you can do that that is completely optional okay but at least you need two things domain and hosting to get started okay so uh, and the next you can um, connect them by adding name server one and two i have already shown you are uh, in step four i believe and what else you need you need some budget domain you can get anywhere around 300 to 500 rupees hosting you will get around 6400 to 9900 rupees so total cost of setting up a website is around 7000 to 9500 rupees approximately for a year okay so in this you can um make unlimited website not only for yourself but also for your clients okay so i hope uh, i think uh, if you have come so far there's no point that you don't want to do it okay so just get started now right now what are you waiting for just go ahead and buy your first domain just go ahead and buy your first hosting and let's get started and once you make your first website then just email me on this email id is gaurav at dmp.co.in and if you, you want any kind of feedback on this particular on your particular website then i'm more than happy to share my feedback on your website if you're action takers okay so thank you so much for watching this video till now i hope you might have enjoyed this particular course so okay so i be, i truly believe that you are action takers if you have uh, really finished this course till this time and you are actually action takers but right now you have to prove that you're an action taker just go ahead and make your fast website and send me your uh, feedback on this email id is gaurav at dmp.co.in uh, let me see if you're an action taker or not okay so thank you so much for watching this video till here bye bye take care and all the best for your first website bye bye take care